graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you the perspective warp feature. It's a feature of Photoshop CC, CC 2014. And in this case, I'm using it with text. And I've got some text here. They're text layers. I haven't actually flattened the design. So just go over to the layers and you see all the text. I can actually select all that. Just go over here to a layer and smart objects and I want to convert that whole lot to a smart object so that's a smart object now now as a smart object I can change it at any point so I don't have to obviously keep that exact text right well now I can go over to the edit and perspective warp now it's got this little step one etc I wish you could get rid of that I'm certain there's an option somewhere to get rid of it but anyway first thing to do I'm just gonna add some pins and it's just outside the range, I just want them. So I'm just going to add another one. Now it would be nice actually if there was a like an alt feature where you could actually duplicate these designs. I'm just going to add another one. I'm going to add about three, five or six across the document. And I'm just going to basically keep them roughly the same. Just click there. Add that pin, drag that down there, join that one. And you can resize it, of course, you just move it over. I'm just going to move that there, click there, and there. And move that over slightly, and again, click there. And that's the actual wall. Right, now once I've actually done that, I can now go to warp. Right, what I want to do is I'm just going to just move that around. I can crunch that around, obviously bend that that way or that way. So you can basically move the text in any direction you want to give it sort of like goes off into that direction down into the, move that out there. And the one good thing, notice the text remains very sharp. Of course, if you actually rasterize it just to use it as a standard layer, you'd end up having the text becomes very degraded. But uh, so I'm just going to stretch it, move it around like that. Okay, that's it. At that point, that's what I want. I want that text. That is still live text, which can now, of course, you can just go over here, smart object, and there you've got the text. You can edit it. So you modify the text if you wish. Maybe, maybe select that text, maybe make it smaller. Move it around. I'm just gonna just quickly do something there. So just okay. I'm gonna close that. Save. Right, and now you've actually seen the text that I've just changed. It's just been modified in this this design so now use smart objects perspective warp you can create really really weird and wonderful live photoshop text effects hope you found this of interest